If you get sick in America, this is what the Republicans want you to do. If you get sick, America, the Republican health care plan is this. Die quickly. That was Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida, known for his hard-charging style during the health care debate back in 2009. He lost his bid for a second term in the Tea Party wave of 2010, but now he is back, re-elected in a landslide in November, winning over 62% of the vote, and he's ready to add his greatest hits reel on YouTube. So you get 100% of the upside, and the government gets 90% of the downside, correct? Uh, that is what the insurance contract is designed to do. Have you heard the phrase, Mr. Panet, heads I win, tails you lose? So who got the money? To financial institutions in, in Europe and other countries. Which ones? I don't know. Half a trillion dollars and you don't know who got the money? Congressman Alan Grayson joins me now live. He is back and better than ever. Sir, it's good to have you here. And just this week, you were right back at it. You were mocking the 67 House Republicans who voted against disaster relief funds for the Hurricane Sandy victims. You called them, quote, the bath salts caucus, the people that would rather eat your face than cut taxes on the rich. You don't seem to have mellowed out much in two years away uh, while you were out of Congress. So which fights are you most ready to pick up now? Well, what's imminent right now is the sequester, which is coming up in a couple of months, and the debt limit. I think that the country has seen that the first time the Republicans took us to the debt limit cliff, it was bad for everyone involved, even them, because the public recognized that we're paying billions of dollars extra on interest right now because of the downgrading of the federal government's debt. That's a, a product of the Republicans doing what they normally do, taking an issue like this and holding the whole country hostage. So I'm hoping we don't have to go through that again. As you know, Senator uh, Mitch McConnell has already refused, uh, or has already uh, not ruled out shutting the government down, or refused to rule it out, so to speak. So it leaves it open. But after the recent compromise to avoid the fiscal cliff, uh, do you think that we are going to have to be dragged to the brink, and that this is the way it play, it's going to play out every time, down to the wire, down to the last minute, and, and not that bipartisan compromise that people around the country are craving? This is completely unnecessary. These are artificial crises uh, by, it's manufactured by the Republican leadership in both the House and the Senate in order to try to bring about cuts in Social Security, cuts in Medicare, cuts in Medicaid that the country doesn't want and would never even consider except for these crises that they create. Uh, we're not talking about an earthquake. We're not talking about Hurricane Sandy. We're not talking about any natural disaster. It's the disaster created by the Republican Party's agenda, which is highly unpopular and wouldn't ever be considered except for the fact they keep dragging the country again and again into these cliff situations. They're self-imposed for sure. One thing uh, that is being discussed right now in Washington, D.C., is uh, what can be done to curb gun violence in the country, the uh, vice president helming the president's gun task force. Uh, they're meeting again again today taking on Hollywood and the gaming industries. Uh, the one thing that has been discussed is potentially reestablishing the ban on assault weapons that lapsed in 04, uh, also banning large ammunition clips, and of course the increase in the federalized background checks here. What do you think is the easiest thing that can be done, most likely because we're going to be looking at this in incremental steps? What do you think is the easiest thing that can be done to get everybody on to step one? Well, there's a fundamental difference here between the two parties, and it, it, it crosses uh, NRA lines, so to speak. Uh, the, the difference here is this. Over and over again, whether you're talking about guns, whether you're talking about uh, employment, health care, any other problem that's facing the country, what the other side wants to do is very clear. It's nothing. As I pointed out uh, three years ago, their health care plan is don't get sick, and if you do get sick, die quickly. And now we see the same thing true with guns in the wake of a terrible national tragedy. In fact, recurring terrible national tragedies. Their answer is do nothing. They want to instill in us a kind of fatalism and nihilism that, that means that we can't do anything to solve our problems. When we're talking about guns, we're talking about this. We're talking about keeping weapons and ammunition out of the hands of bad people. Now, this is, the, uh, this is a problem that, that society deals with all the time. We try to distinguish bad people from good people. We try to distinguish bad situations from good situations. I don't think our existing laws go far enough in doing that. I think it's obvious that they're not working because they haven't, presented the, they haven't prevented the disasters that we've seen over and over again. Let's talk about what we need to do in order to hurt, uh, it, well, let me put it this way, punish bad people and keep bad people from doing bad things 
without necessarily impeding the, the desire of good people to do good things. You know, nobody wants to take uh, a shotgun into the hands of a hunter who's using the weapon legitimately, mm -hmm. but can we find some better way to arrange our existence, our, our laws as a society, that, that does a better job in preventing bad things from happening? I think the president thinks the answer is yes. I think people who are rational think the answer is yes. The people who are irrational who say, don't take my guns out of my hands under any circumstances, uh, you know, those are people who need to rethink what it means to be part of a civilized society. Again, the vice president expected to present his findings by Tuesday with some recommendations. Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida, sir, great to have you on. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Absolutely. We asked, you answered.